What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to look at how to order and compare fractions. So let's go. Okay, so what do we need to remember today? We need to remember that we need to find equivalent fractions to help us. So if you're not too sure what an equivalent fraction is, we will touch on that in this video, but there is a specific video all about equivalent fractions that you might want to check out first. Okay, so first, if we look at this first example, the green chili challenge, we can see we have two thirds versus five sixths. So for this exercise, we're going to be comparing them. Now, when we compare anything, we have three symbols that represent three things. We have the less than symbol, which means that everything on this left hand side is less than everything on the right hand side. We have the more than symbol, which is obviously the opposite. Everything on the left will be more than everything on the right. And then we have finally the equal sign, which means that everything on the left is actually equal to everything on the right. So we're going to be using one of these three symbols in this example here. But which one? How can we compare these two fractions when we're not sure exactly what they look like? So to help us, we can draw them. So we've got two thirds. Let's imagine this is a chocolate bar split into thirds, and I have two of them, one, two. And then in my next example, I have five sixths. So in this case, chocolate bar is split into six pieces. And now I'll count out five, so one, two, three, four, five. And if we're comparing these two chocolate bars, or bars, we can see that actually there's more in this second bar. But drawing these models like this will only work if these numbers are reasonably small and we can accurately draw the fractions. So we need another way. Well, what you might have noticed is our two thirds is a chocolate bar that's been split into three and our five sixths is a chocolate bar that's split into six. So it gets quite difficult to compare two fractions when our denominators, which is this value at the bottom, are different values. What we want to be able to do is have the same denominators. And this is where we're going to be starting to look at equivalent fractions. So, so far I have two thirds versus five sixths. But we've just said we don't like to see a fraction that has different denominators being compared against each other. So we need to do something to one of these fractions so that we have the same denominators. Now, straight away, I can see a relationship between our denominators. Remember, the number on the bottom is the denominator, and I can see that we have numbers that are in the three times table, because obviously three is in the three times table, but also six is in the three times table. So I believe that we can turn our three into a six if we just simply multiplied it by two. So my new fractions denominator on this side would be six, but now I need to look at the numerator, which is the number on top of the fraction. And because I'm trying to keep this fraction equivalent, the rule is that whatever I do to the bottom, the denominator, I must do to the numerator, the number at the top. So because I multiplied my denominator by two, I now need to multiply my numerator by two as well. So two times two is four. So I have just created an equivalent fraction. I now have four sixths. So I can get rid of my two thirds because the fourth six is exactly the same value, just represented in a different way with a different denominator. So now I can compare my fractions quite easily. I can see I have four sixths versus my original five sixths. So when I'm comparing these now, all I need to do is look at the numerators and see which one has the greater value. Well, obviously my five sixths has a greater value than just having four sixths. So when I'm comparing these two fractions, I can see that four sixths is less than five sixths. So therefore I have compared my fractions, but I have to be super careful because that's not what my question asked me. My question asked me what two thirds versus five sixths was. So I'm going to rewrite it and say that two thirds is also smaller than five sixths. And that would be my final answer. So again, if the idea of finding equivalent fractions is a little bit tricky, 
go onto my channel and watch the specific equivalent fractions video. That will really help you. Okay, now we're going to try and order this red chili challenge, and we're going to try and put these fractions in order. Okay, so now looking at my red chili challenge, what we're going to try and do is put all of these fractions in order. And when we're looking at ordering, we have two options. We can either put our fractions in ascending order, which means we go from smallest to largest, or I can put them in descending order, which means I'm going to go from largest to smallest. I think in this case we'll go from smallest to largest. So we're going to be going in ascending order. But we have another problem, because we can see that our denominators are all different values. But again, luckily, I can see that there is a relationship between these denominators. They are all part of the 4 times table. We have 4, 8, 12, and 24. Therefore, I know that I can again use equivalent fractions to convert these fractions with different denominators into equivalent fractions with the same denominator. And I think we'll use the largest denominator today, which is this 24. So we'll keep 19 24 as it is. Now let's have a look at this first example, 5 eighths. So let's put our 5 eighths in place, but we're trying to find an equivalent fraction with the value of a denominator of 24. So how do we get from 8 to 24? Well, we multiply by 3, and because we've done that to our denominator, to keep it equivalent, I now need to do that to the numerator as well, and 5 times 3 is 15. So my new equivalent fraction of 5 eighths is 15 24 ths. So now I can get rid of my 5 eighths. My second example is 11 twelfths. So how do I get from 12 to 24? Well, I must multiply it by 2. And if I'm multiplying the denominator by 2, I have to multiply the numerator by 2. 11 times 2 is 22. So my new 11 twelfths is 22 24 ths. Get rid of this one. And I'm ready to do my next example. I have 2 fourths or 2 quarters. And 2 quarters. How do I get my 4 to become a 24? Well, I'd need to multiply it by 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So if I multiply my 4 by 6, or my denominator by 6, I need to multiply my numerator by 6 as well. And 2 times 6 is 12. So my new fraction is 12 24 ths. Get rid of my 2 quarters. And finally, my last one, 3 quarters or 3 fourths. So 3 fourths. Again, how do I get my 4 to become a 24? I need to times it by 6, so therefore I need to times my 3, times 6 as well. 4 times 6 is 24, 3 times 6 is 18. And now I can get rid of my 3 quarters. Okay, here we go then. So my new fractions that I'm going to be able to order are 15 24 ths, 22 24 ths, 12 24 ths, 18 24 ths, and 19 24 ths. And this is now much easier because they all share the same denominator. So we wanted to go from smallest to largest. So which one has the smallest value? Well, I can see my 12 24 ths only has 12 parts of 24. That's going to be my smallest. My next smallest would be 15 24 ths. After that, 18 24 ths. After that, 19 24 ths. And finally, my largest value is 22. 24ths. Awesome. Give myself a massive tick. We have just ordered these fractions. So what do we need to remember? When ordering or comparing fractions, our denominators need to be the same. We can make our denominators the same by looking for equivalent fractions. Once the denominators are the same, we can simply look at the numerator to see which one has the greater value. So now it's your turn. Press pause on the video now and see if you can try and compare and order these fractions here. This is quite challenging, particularly the red chili challenge. So good luck, press pause on the video now, and put your answers in the comment section. Good luck. And there you have it. That is how to order and compare fractions. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos like this that covers all of the UK curriculum. But for now, guys, thanks very much for watching. See you in another video. Peace out.